We were very fortunate last week to get to use a new catheter for our optical coherence tomography. Uh, this is called the Dragonfly Opstar catheter. And this new catheter has a number of improvements on previous iterations. It's a lot easier to, to put it into heart arteries. Uh, it's easier to push the catheter. There's a new lens within the catheter which gives us brighter, clearer images. And, and that gives us an excellent platform for looking inside arteries and determining how best to treat patients. It was a great honour last week to be asked to do a recorded case along with my colleague Dr Margaret McIntyre for PCR, which is a, an online educational platform with which cardiologists all around the world can tap into as an educational resource for learning new techniques, to learn better techniques and how best to treat patients. So we were asked to record a case here at the Golden Jubilee National Hospital, which we're going to show at a webinar where doctors from all around the world will join in and we'll have a discussion about how best to treat calcified heart arteries and how best to use optical coherence tomography and the new Opstar catheter uh, in order to determine how best to treat our patients with calcified arteries. We chose a case of an elderly patient who had very calcified heart arteries with very extensive heart disease. It gave us a chance to use optical coherence tomography uh, to look inside the calcified arteries in order to determine how best to treat those arteries before we put stents in. Now arteries which are, are, are calcified and, and hard, we don't want to put a stent in unless we've treated the arteries properly first because there's a risk that if you do that then your stents are underexpanded and that can lead to those stents failing over time. And we also used PCI Assist software which is on all our cath labs here in the Golden Jubilee Hospital. Using these two modalities, we were able to treat the patient successfully with an excellent outcome, both angiographically in terms of looking at the arteries on the screen, but also on the optical coherence tomography, where we managed to optimise our outcome uh, to make sure the patient has a good result. I think it's a great opportunity for us to showcase our work here, showcase the latest technology that's available. That's a real honour for the Golden Jubilee National Hospital to be the first site to get this in Scotland and to get a chance to showcase this and show other centres how to use it. I think puts the Golden Jubilee National Hospital high in the rankings in terms of excellent educational institutions uh, in the world.